Good morning from St. Thomas Episcopal Church and School in San Antonio, Texas, and welcome to Morning Prayer for the morning of Tuesday, January the 2nd. Today, let's pray for peace on earth and for the peace of Jerusalem. In the Anglican Communion today, we're praying for the Diocese of Botswana in the Church of the Province of Central Africa. And in our own diocese this week, we're praying for the Church of the Advent in Brownsville, St. Andrews in Seguin, and St. Andrews in San Antonio. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for David and David, our bishops, and for Mike and Allie, our priests. And as always, from wherever you are, please bring your own concerns, intentions, and thanksgivings to prayer this morning. So let's start on page 75. Behold, the dwelling of God is with mankind. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. On page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia to us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. And let's say the Venite on page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Alleluia. To us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Our psalm for today is Psalm 34, and that begins on page 627. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant, and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him, and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Fear the Lord, you that are his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who among you loves life and desires long life to enjoy prosperity? Keep your tongue from evil speaking and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and will save those whose spirits are crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of them all. He will keep safe all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, 
and those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and none will be punished who trust in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So let's go to our readings. Our first reading is in the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. And we're in chapter 4. We are going to begin with verse 1, and we're going to go through verse 16. I, therefore, the prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of God's gift. Therefore it is said, when he ascends on high, he made captivity itself a captive. He gave gifts to his people. When it says he ascended, what does it mean? But that he had also descended into the lower parts of the earth. He who descended is the same one who ascended far above all the heavens, so that he might fill all things. The gifts he gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until all of us come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children, tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our first canticle for today is the Song of Praise on page 90. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths. In the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. And our Gospel reading for today. We are in the Gospel of St. John, and we're going to begin chapter 6 with verse 1 and go through verse 14. After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many people? And Jesus said, Make the people sit down. And now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about five thousand and all. And then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, and also the fish, as much as they wanted. And when they were satisfied, he told his disciples, Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. And so they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. And when the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Our second canticle for today is a song to the Lamb on page 93. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. And on page 96, let's say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And now let's say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now let's say Suffrages B on page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Our collect for today is a collect for the first Sunday after Christmas, and that's on page 213. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light, enkindled in our hearts, may shine forth to in our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And on page 99, the collect for peace. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And on page 101, our prayer for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. And on the top of page 102, the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let's take a few moments for reflection. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever.